Okay, in this video we're going to show you how to uh, add an IFT or IFTTT integration into uh, Tailwind. Um, this video is being made in uh, mid-August of 2019 and uh, IFT recently did make some updates to their app so we're uh, as well as uh, Tailwind so we're going to update this video from the previous version. Uh, so what we want to do is, uh, you can see I've got multiple Tailwind devices uh, set up on here, but I'm going to um, go ahead into Integrations in the main menu here, so Integrations. And you can see I've got a couple of integrations set up already for Google Home and Alexa. So now I'm going to add the IFTTT one, which is the top right corner, the plus button. And I'm going to select IFT. There we go. So Add Integration. So it's now been added. You can see it at the bottom there. Uh, so it's added on the Tailwind side. So now we scoot over to the IFT side. And uh, we want to tap on Get More. And we'll go down to make a custom one right here. So create your own. There are, of course, ways to just grab pre-made ones. There's lots of them on IFT, but I'll show you a custom one. So I tap on this. And i got to search on Tailwind. Okay, uh, I have multiple ones showing here because I'm on the developer list, but I just would get one and I would choose Tailwind. And so I can, I'm uh, setting it up as a trigger, so garage door opened or closed. So I'm going to choose to get an email when a door is opened. That's what I'm going to do today. So garage door open. So I have to add it. And now I have to link my Tailwind account. So what I enter here is the actual credentials that I use to log into the Tailwind app. And you have to get this right or it's going to give you a credentials error. Okay, so now I've entered my uh, exact email and password that I use to log into the Tailwind app, including making sure that that first letter in the email address is not a capital letter. Um, you want to make sure that's a small letter. So now I'm going to go ahead and just tap log in. And this will link my Tailwind and my IFTTT together. And so now I need to, to, to uh, say which garage door um, I want the trigger to be. Because I've got a drop-down list here of a bunch of different garage doors. Okay, these are all my various uh, Tailwind devices that I have. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose garage door 1 to create a trigger. So if garage door 1 opens, then... I need to say what I want it to do. I'm going to choose it to uh, email me. So send me an email. And it um, now just create action. And away it goes. It's creating that applet now. And of course, we have to scroll down and tap finish. So now IFT will send me an email each time Garage Door 1 opens.